Now we were mentioning Blackout is pretty much everywhere, you know, they're playing it in stores and where was the first time you guys heard it, you know, on the radio? Back home. Dude, we, yeah, we were, we actually got back from the airport, um, the whole band, and we were on the way home. And um, it was crazy because we were talking about it, we were like, I wonder like if we'll hear it or when we're going to hear it ever, and we turned on the radio and literally we just heard the intro to it and we were like, what? And we were all together and it was the first time we were like, dude, this is sick. And then, you know, that was in Colorado. So we were like, you know, that's, it's weird, but it's still not crazy to us. And I said, I don't yeah. think we thought it was that crazy. Well, because we've heard our songs on 93.3 before. That was the station that we heard it on was KTCO. And and because uh, they, they have a locals only show at nine on Sundays and they've played us quite a few times. So it was, it just felt like we just played it on the radio, you know, like, like that we just put it on our, our put a CD in or put our right. iPod on. And You're looking around going, hey, who put, who has a yeah, CD player yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, it just kind of felt like that. But I think the first time I really felt it, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know Texas was sick. I know. I, I, I remember the first time that I remember feeling weird about it was we were, we were playing Detroit this night and we had to drive. Or we were playing a little bit outside of Detroit and we had to drive to Detroit to this radio show yeah. and they're like it's gonna air in like 20 minutes and I was like okay we didn't even think about it so we turned it on we got in the car and we heard it and it was like our interview and stuff and then they yeah, played this was, song and we were cool. just like damn that's crazy like the main radio you know the top 40 station in Detroit right. and it's like that's a huge huge market so it was wow right that was great yeah now a couple of days ago you guys found out that you know you're playing and you guys announced it that you are doing the Vans Warp Tour yeah. again and again and again number again number three baby number three <laughs> Main stage, we'll see yeah. you Main stage, you know, that, that's awesome. It's taken, you know, I, I don't think we ever thought that we'd ever play main stage, you know what I mean? Right. That's, you know, we're playing with some of, some of our idols, right. you know, so that, I think that, I think that's the thing that I'm looking forward to most is just making my introduction. We've already met, we've already met quite a few of those bands just, just in passing, you know, this, this world is very, it's a very small world, you know what I mean? When you see somebody like, oh, small world, that's crazy, I'm seeing you here. It's, that's, that's how it is every day when you do this kind of shit. And, and uh, you know, that's that's the thing I'm stoked on is just the hangs, man, just to right. make our introductions with people that we haven't gotten a chance to that we've always wanted to. So, yeah. so that's going to be cool. A lot of party going on on the Warp Tour. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. Oh, no, yeah. man, we're actually, um, we're so we're, we, yeah, we, we ban uh, drinking and, and doing anything else on, on Warp Tour, so it's gonna be pretty calm this yeah. year. It's gonna be really chill. I'm gonna sit in my bunk all day. There you go. I'm phones. actually starting to write a book, so I'm gonna be focusing on writing my book. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys done this so many times. Do you guys even prepare or any anymore? You just kind of just go, hey, whatever happens, happens. Honestly, it changes honestly, every night. Well, we're coming into this show having practice, haven't done anything for <laughs> since Palm Springs. Yeah, so. I mean, I mean, and. The, the thing is for me, like when we leave for a tour, my preparation time gets shorter and shorter oh, and shorter. Man. I'll wake up like five minutes before I'm supposed to leave my house and haven't packed a goddamn thing. My clothes are dirty yeah. as shit. And I'm just like, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I just put it all into a bag. So that's this morning what happened. We left our apartment in LA and I had to, I, I woke up and I, like, we're I walked in 10 into minutes. your room when I got home and I was like, think D ain't packed. All right, I feel chill. <laughs> yeah, I, I got this morning and I was like half asleep. Just putting dirty clothes in my suitcases, <laughs> and I left half my shit there because I want to fit. So I was just like, oh, "All right, dude, I gotta just get out of here." I man. saw a bunch of shirts in the closet. I was like, "What the hell is that?" Shit? Yeah, I dude. Right I thought it was just somebody. I thought it was just somebody's <laughs> random crap. We always have people staying at our place and whatnot, and I thought it was just one of their t-shirts or something. But. There you go. Hey, it happens. You're like, "Hey, David, did you go shopping and buy more clothes, or I mean." Buy duplicates or what? That's what I do though. That's what I do because I'm I'm really good. I'm really really good at losing all my stuff too, losing it and or leaving it purposely. And so I feel like every three weeks I have to go buy like all new wardrobe, and then I'll lose that shit in like a month and a half, and then I'll buy more. So I I can't keep hold on to anything. Like I feel like give away a lot of clothing. (laughs) Yeah, I don't giving away more hats than I can count on my hands and my feet. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Shit's wild. What was the worst thing that you lost? Worst thing that I lost, my, my Burberry wallet that my brother gave me, and someone stole it from me on Warped Tour. And motherfucker, I'm coming after you. <laughs> People, crazy. Piss. Yeah? Piss. It's all right, I got my coat shit. Don't think I ain't. <laughs> 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 yeah. What about you? Worst thing I did, I've lost my cell phone like 12 times. Um, that's probably the worst. That's the worst feeling because it's like, you can't do anything at that point. Like if you get lost, and usually I'm, you know, I'm wasted as I'm <laughs> trying to find it, 
And I'm like, oh, the fuck is my phone? And, and like, you're like, I need that. I need that. Am I, I wasted? I end at? up like just being by myself or something, and so I can't call anybody. That's the scariest <laughs> feeling. Is like you can't call anybody. You know, like, um, I mean, I've lost IDs, which sucks. Um, I've lost That's a bunch cool. of shit, man. Dude, one of my one of my one of my things I wish I still had though is we were on the Attack oh, Attack tour like yeah, two years yeah, ago, exactly and uh, Lou Dog had made me this. Um, pillowcase t-shirt because they got all drunk in my shirt I ripped my shirt up or something and so I was like Lewis make me a shirt and he took a pillowcase off the pillow in our hotel and cut it into a shirt and I wore it for like three days yeah, I wore it sick. like I, I went to fucking Chipotle and got a burrito <laughs> and a pillowcase <laughs> I don't give a shit when, dude it when was sick need, when it need. yeah it was there you sick go. There you go. <laughs> sick <laughs> I forgot about the pillowcase t-shirt yeah, it'd be like a new line of merch for Breathe Carolina in the future, right? I was right? into it, dude. I was, I was not even like, I'm just wearing this because I have to. I was like, I have clean clothes. I just want to wear them. I like this shit. <laughs> Sick. There you go. Nice. Pillowcase t-shirt. So your music video, Blackout, playing it here on the Vinnie Langdon show. And everything that these people are seeing in the video, it just, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. What it, we, we were actually we were actually pretty pretty shy guys when it, whenever we had to do that. We didn't know really what we were getting into with the video or with Travis. Us. My boy Travis, who, who directed, man, he he was pulling shit out of his ass. I know he was, man. Travis, I know well, they, you were doing that. I know. They it. send us a treatment. We're like, all right, cool. This is tight. We get and so we we get there and we start. We did the first thing they had talked about. So we're like, all right, cool. We're on track. Look like, how we're gonna go to this hotel. And I was like, all right, whatever. Let's meet the hotel. And there's these two girls. They're like pretty much naked. And he's like, yo, you need to get in your boxers. And they're gonna jump on. They're gonna like bounce on you. And I was like. What, dude? It's like, like dude, we haven't worked this is out never. David's a bounce shit. house now. What? <laughs> this was, and dude, this for you know, I don't know if this is inappropriate or not, but for literally three hours they were filming the scene of this girl in her underwear, and I was in my underwear, and they, she was just bouncing on on my on uh, on on me, and and um, and I was like, I was like, dude, like you gotta you gotta expect me to be a little bit weird and or get an erection if you can think that I'm sit there for three hours and chill. Dude. And then they made me get a tattoo for the video too, which yeah, I wasn't. Check it out, check it out, show me tattoo. Oh shit, I don't know. I need to take this off. God, I, have, I have so many layers on right now. Can you guys see this? All right, hold on. Yeah, you do have some see, on. look at this. <laughs> David's getting naked. Watch out, man. <laughs> well, that's what I'm used to apparently now. So. <laughs> right there, a little blackout unicorn. A blackout unicorn. And yeah. what does that symbolize? I have no fucking clue. No, no yeah, dude, the blackout video was was a good time, man. We had a bunch of um, a bunch of fans got to come out and stuff for all the all the live stuff that we did, and um, that was awesome. It was cool, man. It was just two days of literally just us having fun and and you know just being ourselves. You know, that video is very true to to us as just what we do in our lives. You know, just, just memories we had. You know? yeah. yeah. Four years on the road, and you, time goes by so fast. And it's because you've made so many memories, you know what I mean? That, that it's right. just all of a sudden it, it accumulates and you get to the end of it and you're like, holy shit. Right. What, what year are we in? Yeah. <laughs> end of the world. What's it's going not, on? It's is not it? 2008 still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you guys have all these adventures. I mean, you know, honestly, you could write a book for you know all these memories. Yeah, you know? I could. Yeah. But. You know, Warp Tour was a big highlight for you guys, you know, playing the main stage. You know, who knows where that's going to take you after this. And new record, new songs, new music videos. You guys keep them coming and keep them fans going. And uh, what, what do you guys want to do? What's your next goal? I mean, platinum records, gold records, you know, Grammy we're, Awards. We're getting, we're, getting, we're getting close to that platinum with Blackout. And we hit, it hit gold and I think we have 200,000 more, which is a big number. But... You know, I think that that's I think that that's our next goal. You know, in terms of in terms of our songs' lives, you know, after that, you know, let's get that second single out, and, and we're excited to show the world that because no one's heard it and except for our friends back back in Cali and right. and uh, you know amongst ourselves, our management, and whatnot, and and after that, man, you know, it's just tour and tour and tour and just trying to trying to get that big tour. We actually, uh, you know, to tell you something, that I think that you know, just that dream shit. You know, it's kind of weird, you know, going through tour, going through all of it, and, and still having these dreams come true. You know, it's and that's kind of the funny part. It's like, oh yeah, 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 y'all, y'all made it. You got your song on the radio. Yeah, you, you've done it all. It's like, no, we haven't. No way, we yeah. haven't. You know, we're actually, uh, you know, our next big thing. We're doing three Blink shows, which I cannot wait to do. You know, it's only three, but three is, you know, three is. Way more than we than we ever expected we would play, so we can't wait. To, we can't wait to play Blink 182 and do that, and it's them and All American Rejects, which we had met on the last Warped Tour we did, and 
man, it's just it's just kind of weird, man. It's like, well, who are we anymore? You know what I mean? Like, and back in the high school days, what did you guys, you know, I mean, you guys were starting the band right around high school, but, you know, where you're, like, filling out those career, you know, tests and going, oh, I could be a doctor, I could be a lawyer, and where's the band? Was, you know? I was, we, skip, we skip class at then. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I would always try because my counselor was, like, really into my life, like, I, like, wanted to be a part of it and help me out for some reason, but I didn't want to go to school, and... She would like ask me like what you know what kind of career do you want and I would just be like I would try to make up things that you couldn't have a go to college for and she would just trick me every time. Yo. Sal. Fifteen minutes. Don't show that. Just want to let you okay. Know. Show yourself. I probably need to go out there and fuse. I need to make sure all that shit out there. Okay. Thank you. Love you, Slip. Yeah, that was Sal. Don't worry about Sal. Yep. Fantastic. Right. <laughs> there we go. Guru. Yeah. Another thing. Man. Dreams come true, man. Sal. I'm true. Fantasies will always be there, man. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's dreamy. That's what I mean. Yes, no, exactly. We met. We met Sal Take Action, uh, 2008, 2009, 2009, with the uh, Cusable Aim for. He was doing. He was TMing the whole tour, and I was like, man, someday, dude, I would be sick of Sal's RTM. Sure enough. Hey, what's up, Kyle and Dave from Breathe Carolina here, man. We just want to say what's up to Vinny, man. Thank you so much for having us on the show once again, and and uh, chilling right here in the Big Apple. See you next time, though.